going on buddies this is Ruben and welcome back to my channel when I started recording my video I have been without speaking English and that is basically what I have to deal with when I just started recording videos because this is the way I have to talk English to speak in English and otherwise um, I do not speak English so often so but lately I've been talking I've been speaking English in my group on my whatsapp group and I think that is the best opportunity to have that I have for speaking English Before, before starting the video, I want to say that maybe this is not the best place to record my videos because I am I am in a in a kitchen a kitchen and I'm not I'm not going to do videos about food even though I made a video right here about food that was a, a chicken with rice I really love this recipe. Um, guys, the today's topic is basically about sometimes we as an intermediate uh, English learner we have that kind of pressure to do not do mistakes because okay suppose you are in a higher level than when you started and I'm not talking on my own I mean that it sadly doesn't happen to me, but I, I have heard many people that is going through that stage. I mean that because of they are intermediate, because they, okay, they are supposed to speak English or the language or whatever the language is in a great way. They are kind of, uh, let's say, um, they are hesitate to make mistakes. So please do not hesitate to ask questions. And basically that could stop uh, the process uh, from learning English in a more relaxed way. That may happen. And do not hesitate. Another way that could happen as well is that we don't feel comfortable in the level we are, but in a bad way. Like like let's say you are almost proficient but you say oh my god i need to improve a lot of stuff and somebody told me that i need to improve in this way that my pronunciation is not the best that i do not have the capability to speak in any certain way and they kind of like all the time are like i'm not good at english oh my god i'm so bad i'm so sorry forgive my english and but, uh, but actually they are just great so and I'm telling you that because I heard or I saw basically a case in a Facebook group in in a girl a girl actually she has a great English actually he he has a great English and and I just she was made in a video so because in the group that I am uh, we are just all supposed to record videos and speak out our, th our thoughts and she actually was good at English or is actually good at English but she had that inferiority inferiority kind of like oh my god no no I'm so bad at English and I am um, but she was talking so fluent and so great but because somebody told her that and she had a bad English or I don't know, I don't know why, what, but she was talking like this. And with that, I thought, okay, if we talk like this, I would say, okay, it's not that bad, but for people who are learning English, they feel like, I mean, in the beginning stages, they will feel like, Wow, you say yeah, that you are not good at English, and now I can't imagine how or what is to me. What is if you're bad, that you are actually fluent and almost a perfect English? What is about to me? 
and yeah so it's crazy that also on the first point that I give you that we feel that kind of a pressure a pressure to not make a mistake because we are we are so in a in a certain level like let's say that we are intermediate and we do basic net basic mistakes and that um to that that today happened to me when I was asking to a group about the way of typing down and she just he just and let me think about it. he he just hasn't got around with X stuff and I just could learn the the, the phrase the the idiom got get around and even more I learned catch on or catching on it's like like captar algo or kind of understand something and yeah well I wanted to talk a little bit about this topic it's kind of a crazy topic but yeah and um guys so I want you to you to be focused on the process you have for any reasons do not compare your English your language with any anyone else so I think that is the worst thing we can do we can talk we can even talk about it do not comparing ourselves just finding the way to go in just being focused on what we really have and do, do, do not and not not to feel like pretty superior to anyone who is learning the language on their beginning stages and you know because that will cause like that restriction for us to make mistakes as well so even so I talked to a couple of guys and they told me that even in a higher level they they still make mistakes and that is very common and you know we are here in this world to learn and that's it guys and thank you so much for for thank you so much for watching the video and just for being here and i'll see you until my next one god bless you and take care bye bye